Ahead on NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. It's a special look back at some of our favorite stories from New Holland. We head into the fields to get expert advice on equipment, maintenance, and haymaking. And now, a special edition of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen with host Kevin Oxner. Hello and welcome to this week's special edition of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. I'm Kevin Oxner. Thanks for joining us. This week, we're taking a look back at some of our favorite stories from New Holland agriculture. Let's head out into the field to hear more from the experts. Most cattlemen know that there's nothing more important when it comes to feeding your herd than hay quality. And putting up quality bales is dependent on producers around the country using best practices, not their size or location. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brian Baxter had a chance to learn some tricks of the trade in Okeechobee, Florida. In the heart of central Florida cattle country, you'll find Wes Williamson working on his family ranch. Well, I'm a third generation cattle rancher here in Okeechobee. My grandfather started this ranch back in the 1940s and handed it down to my father and, and I've had the blessing of being able to work with my father and now work with my son and daughter on this operation. Oh, it's a tremendous uh, blessing. The Williamsons raise mostly Brangus cattle on operations in Florida, Texas and Alabama. Florida is a unique place to raise cattle and it's a place where feed and forage is important to raising a healthy herd. And Wes says there are times of the year where his operation relies on hay as a supplemental feed. He says he's learned that quality is key to success. The quality of the haylage or bales of hay or whatever, we have to relearn this lesson every few years that you, if you put junk in, you're only going to get junk out. So the quality, you're always balancing it between quality and the quantity you need for your cattle. But we've learned that quality is so important. So, you know, putting a little nitrogen fertilizer on it, you know, six weeks or a month before you harvest it really improves the quality and digestibility for our cattle. So how do you get that quality bale? New Holland Agriculture says there are some simple steps to keep in mind when making hay no matter where you operate. First, you have to choose the baler size that's right for you and the crop you're baling. There are several size options that can help with the transportation and storage of round bales and a range of features to select when it comes to making high moisture hay. New Holland offers a silage special baler that has some key features in order to accommodate high moisture hay baling. Uh, we offer a dual cam heavier duty pickup to handle the additional weight of the crop coming into the chamber. We offer a back wrap roll that will allow uh, uh, stop crop from accumulating on the back of the belts. We also have scrapers uh, in the baler to keep the crop from accumulating on the rolls in addition to in-feed discs inside of the bale chamber that'll lower horsepower requirements by keeping the crop off of the side sheets of the baler. Grow quality, uh, watch your moisture contents. We do have some tools out there that uh, helps. Uh, I know New Holland has a preservative for dry hay. They're not miracle workers, but these preservatives can help us in off weather type conditions. And we do use an inoculant on our baleage to help promote less mold and stuff in the bag and that's just kind of an insurance but really it boils down to your grow season figure in your climate your weather conditions your air quality work on drier ground if you can but just the basics of good haymaking uh, you got to get it dried down to a certain point kenneth arnold manages forage for family tree enterprises not far from the williamson's florida operation he says in addition to managing moisture content, one of the most important things he watches for is bale density. Bale density is very important. The more air that we can compress out of these baleage bales and the less oxidation and heat buildup, uh, the better fermentation quality and less problems we will have inside the bag, uh, we'll get a better fermentation. Yeah, the density is very important to get the air compressed out. In the round baler itself, select a good ground speed to the crop itself and your ground conditions. Give your baler time to roll a good, firm, tight bale and compress it. 
and uh, if they're laid out flat, you're going to get more compression than you are if you wreck it up in a big fluffy windrow. But again, either flat or uh, raked up, you need to either slow down or to adapt to that windrow to give it time to compress it really well. And uh, just pay attention. Uh, keep your eye on your monitor and keep your eye on your baler and let her do its job. Patience again. That patience, New Holland says, can be important to increasing your bottom line and the quality of your hay. We're proud to have one of the densest bales in the industry, and the reason that we're very passionate about creating a dense bale is all related to hay storage. Uh, many cattlemen may be storing their round bales in the field along a fence line, and so having a dense bale allows that bale to shed water a lot easier. And bale density is a big part of that. The more hay that you can put in a bale, the less bales that you'll have to move out of the field. So there's a lot of fuel savings to consider um, by checking your bale density and knowing how to set that and monitor it. Um, and New Holland delivers the right baler to give you the densest bale possible in order to save fuel in the field by less moves and giving you uh, less spoilage if you're, use, if you're doing a baleage bale, for example, because you're squeezing more oxygen out of that thing. New Holland says choosing complementary hay tools from disc mower conditioners to tetters, rakes, and round balers can also impact the quality of the bale you produce. The windrow size is really what uh, is one of the deciding factors and from, from cutting to raking to tetting um, and then into the baling and chopping process uh, sizing those, those hay tools up appropriately so they work well in unison together is very important. Again, laying it out in a nice thin uh, swath is best so then you don't have to you know, go through the tedding and the raking process too many times which will lower the nutritional value. So sizing that equipment is very important uh, to each operation. Choosing the right equipment, managing moisture content and bale density are all key factors in making sure the hay or the haylage you produce will give your cattle the highest nutritional value. Quality means a lot because of uh, the cost of grain. If we can substitute quality forage into the program and cut the cost of grain and everything as high as it's gotten, it'll, it'll, it'll pay dividends, it'll, it'll pay its way. And it, it has become the uh, thought of today is it's gotta be quality. You can't just roll up anything and expect a cow to do good on it. I would say best tips in the, in the you know, to get the best hay and forage quality. Number one, know what your operation looks like. Uh, have a farm management plan, have it down on a piece of paper and work the plan once you have it down. Uh, good planning is, is going to make all the more difference. Uh, look at your labor and your, your efficiencies with all of your machine selection. Um, sizing up the equipment that's correct for your operation is very important to the process. And also, um, making sure that you know what your surroundings are like. The weather is, plays a very important role in the hay making process and to achieve that quality hay uh, and to retain the nutritional value and the sugars and starches that really make an impact in, in the cattle and the livestock operation is very important when considering hay, you know, hay and forage quality. Quality, patience and some good old fashioned tradition are what New Holland says will help produce a quality hay crop every year. New Holland's heritage is in haymaking, and so we take our we take our job to deliver quality hay tools very seriously. And as hay prices continue to climb, we understand that cattlemen are relying more and more on hay crops in order to deliver that average daily gain and the body traits that they want on their cattle when they're going to either the market or going to the feedlot. So uh, our equipment is made to be reliable and convenient, so they're able to maintenance the machines very easily, and they're able to stay in the field and get the hay made while the sun's shining and can beat the weather. Wes Williamson is relying on that New Holland expertise to deliver quality hay and forage to his cattle. This will help him continue to manage his family's operation into the next generation. Oh, I am just so blessed to be here uh, God's allowed me and my family to be stewards of a small piece of his land and to uh, care after a few of his cattle and I just love it. It's just something I wake up every morning and I look forward to my job and it's just a tremendous blessing. Reporting from Okeechobee, Florida, I'm Brian Baxter for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Look for more of Wes Williamson as he begins his tenure 
as president of the Florida Cattlemen's Association this June. And for more information on New Holland products, resources, and NCBA member benefits, visit our website at cattlemanandcattlemen.org or simply visit your local New Holland dealer. If you're thinking about buying a new piece of New Holland equipment, now's the time. New Holland has partnered with the National Cattlemen's Beef Association to offer all NCBA members exclusive discounts of up to $3,500 on their equipment. For all the details on this great incentive, just visit our website at cattlemanandcattlemen.org. If you aren't an NCBA member yet, joining is easy. Just give us a call at 1-866-USA-BEEF or email us at c 2 c at beef.org. Then you'll be able to take advantage of these great New Holland discounts. Stay with us. We'll be right back. When it comes to your land, it pays to be smart. At New Holland, smart means giving you a wide range of options to fit your needs, like smooth cutting, plug-free conditioning, and versatility. Smart means putting more hay in the bale and leaving less in the field. It also means providing exceptional after-sale support and growing a legacy that goes far beyond equipment. That's New Holland Smart. Visit your local New Holland dealer today. Well, I think a rancher has to be a steward of the land. There's nobody else that can take care of land better than a rancher. When we switched over to the uh, Perina products, it was a step in the right direction. The difference we see in the cattle is the consistency of their nutrition. The cattle hold their condition a lot better throughout the whole year. It does make a difference that we can see, day in and day out. Join America's cattle industry for the 2014 Summer Conference in Denver, Colorado. It's a great opportunity to meet your fellow cattlemen and women, plus spend time planning for the future of your operation in our great industry. Bring the whole family and join us in Denver for the 2014 Cattle Industry Summer Conference, July 30th through August 2nd. For details, call 1-866-USA-BEEF or visit us at beefusa.org. There are few things more important to cattlemen and women than high quality feed. Quality starts with getting the crop cut and baled quickly and correctly. First generation cattle and hay producer Scott Ricks has relied on his tracker and his dealer as a cornerstone in the building of a first class operation. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brian Baxter traveled to Texas to find out how top notch machinery has helped make this operation so successful. We run what I would call a high density cow-calf operation. That is that we run pretty high density numbers of cows per acre and we do that by maintaining really just improved grasses everywhere we go. Uh, we try to calve usually early in February so that uh, by the time the calves are able to use some of the nutrition from the, native, the grasses that we have that uh, they're able to take advantage of that. Scott Ricks relies on high quality hay and forage to see his cow herd through the winter. That means getting the crop cut and baled in the most efficient manner possible. Ricks has relied on his New Holland tractor not just for his hay operation, but for all his ranch responsibilities. Quality is obviously got to be your first priority. You spend a lot of money, you invest a lot of money in that hay crop, and you want to do the very best that you can. That way it translates into uh, greater gain for your animals, quicker rebreeding. So uh, I would just uh, encourage them to make the investment in whatever they feel they need to turn out that best hay crop. For me, it's having New Holland equipment that uh, I can rely on, that's easy to use, that's uh, safe. The auto command transmission for me is just really a, a blessing. And uh, you have equipment that you can rely on. You don't want to be out there in the hay field and then have something break down on you. When it comes to daily chores on his operation, Ricks needs to depend on a tractor that's safe and reliable for everyone involved with getting the work done. I chose the Automate Command tractor because, quite honestly, I just love it. It is just so easy to use. Uh, I needed a tractor that uh, my wife could use, that my daughter could use, that if I had someone helping me for a day that I could put in there and feel confident that they would feel safe using the tractor and that they would uh, be able to use the tractor 
And that's really what led me to choose that tractor. CBT stands for Continuously Variable Transmission. CBTs are ideal for cattlemen because you're going to be knocking down hay, you're going to be putting up hay, you're going to be moving hay and doing material handling. In today's CBT tractors, you get a whole host of features uh, that tie in with the transmission uh, to make you most productive. The infinite speed selection and the programmability of the transmission uh, is going to allow you to be more productive. New Holland's Auto Command transmission is a smart option for today's progressive cattlemen. New Holland first introduced the CVT on high horsepower tractors and applied the same design to a smaller tractor that's ideal for cattlemen. Now, uh, as opposed to a traditional transmission where gears are used, uh, what a CVT allows you to do is to have infinite speed selection. Uh, and that is critical for haying applications as well as loader work because, you know, if you've got a gear transmission and you're out in the field, sometimes you don't have that right gear to match your field conditions to make sure that you're, you're most, the most productive you can be. With a CVT, especially when you're, you're running your disc mower conditioner or your round baler, you're able to set the RPMs uh, specifically 540 or 1000 RPM to match your implement, but then to dial in the speed to, to perfectly match the ground conditions to make sure that you're most effective and productive in your applications. Cattlemen spend a lot of time in the tractor seat doing their daily chores. That's why New Holland put extra focus on cab comfort and controls for Auto Command tractors. The controls are laid out very nicely. The multifunction arm is very handy to control tractor speed uh, if you want to slow down or speed up. And on that same uh, multifunction arm are a lot of the, the uh, switches that you use frequently, like your hydraulics or even your shuttle. They're all just located right there that you can actuate with your thumb. So when we're talking CBT transmissions, whether it's New Holland's Auto Command or, or a competitive CBT transmission, one thing that's universal is ease of operation. Uh, we've really uh, had leaps and bounds with regards to how comfortable and easy it is to operate the tractor to allow cattlemen to get the most out of their day. So whether you're talking in the case of the New Holland with its Sidewinder 2 adjustable console that allows you to place controls right where you want them. So after a long day of, of uh, you know, knocking down, putting up hay, you're, you're still refreshed and comfortable. To the command grip controller, which gives you fingertip access to eight of the most commonly used controls. Again, we thought of the operator, we thought of not only safety with the CVT, but also operational comfort uh, to allow them to be the most productive they can uh, out in the field. Just as important as the tractor itself is making certain the machine is properly maintained and ready to go in the field. To do that, dealer support can be crucial, especially during a busy hay season. Down here in Texas, our weather changes so quickly. Uh, we can be nice and sunny and have storms all of a sudden get on the forecast. And so if I have downtime, then I really put my entire crop at risk. And uh, so having good dealer support is just key for me to make sure that I keep running and get the hay in the barns or the hay put up uh, at the appropriate time. As many times simple maintenance prevents a very expensive repair. Many people forget their coolant doesn't last forever. I've had customers come in with coolant that's 10 years old in their system. People forget to check, make sure the radiator's clean from debris, and it'll collect dust and debris in there. If they're using a four-wheel drive tractor in the off-season, uh, they've got their stops removed, and, and when they go to doing hay, they, you don't want to turn too short. In addition to keeping your equipment well-maintained, another key to success is fully understanding the capability of your equipment. I think the, the critical thing here is to know what your CVT tractor is capable of. Uh, before you go out in the field, and, and even take a refresher each, uh, 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 each spring before you go out, because CVT transmissions uh, and modern tractors have a lot of things uh, that will help with your productivity. The other issue is safety. You know, this tractor, when you're backing up to an implement, if I need to move a quarter of an inch, I can move a quarter of an inch. If I'm unloading pilots with the front end loader, and I need to just very carefully move that tractor forward or backwards, it, I can do that very simply and it's just so much safer and uh, so I really appreciate that. And of course the most important reason is that my wife loves it and uh, we all know when a happy wife or a wife is happy that's good for everybody. Reporting from Belleville, Texas, I'm Brian Baxter for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. New Holland Agriculture offers outstanding discounts to NCBA members. To learn more about those discounts, visit BeefUSA.org or your local New Holland dealer. 
New Holland equipment is built smart for the way you farm. And the New Holland Big Baler is smart for the way you make big square bales. The new Big Baler series large square balers from New Holland use the latest technologies to deliver dense, uniform bales in every crop at high speed. Wide maxi sweep pickups grab hay or straw in the toughest windrows feeding it into the bale chamber where the New Holland Density Management System makes each bale to your exact specifications. Operators can also choose from a variety of crop cutter systems to cut crop just the way you need it to maximize feed utilization and mixing times. And if you're looking for precision, ask your New Holland dealer about options to monitor and control weight, moisture, and RFID bale identification. Any way you look at it, the New Holland Big Baler is smarter and faster to get the job done right the first time. Visit your New Holland dealer to learn more about the complete lineup of New Holland equipment in addition to all of the benefits available to cattle producers. It's the official monthly publication of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. The National Cattlemen is produced exclusively for NCBA members and includes coverage of the news and events affecting our industry. Every issue includes market analysis, feature stories, and practical management tips. Start receiving your copy of The National Cattleman. Call 866-USA-BEEF or go online to beefusa.org and join today. I'm here to 1011. I'm a tuner to know the Yes! <laughs> Joe! Todd! How'd you do? Oh! Not bad. See what you have to gain at thelongrangelook.com. For most cattlemen and women, this past winter was one of the toughest in many years. And that means a lot of hay was used to keep cows in good condition. When it comes to producing hay this year, many producers will be looking to maximize production and quality. One way to improve hay quality is by properly conditioning your hay crop. For more on the keys to producing high quality hay, we turn to Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brian Baxter. The Imperial Valley of California is known worldwide for the quality of alfalfa it produces. Alfalfa hay is prized because of the high levels of energy, protein, and nutrients it provides to cattle. But if you want to increase the feed value of your alfalfa and other hay crops, the experts say you should be conditioning that crop properly when you cut it. Well, it's a really crucial step in hay or haylage making, but particularly for hay. Uh, first, if we condition properly and spread it into a wide swath, we get the initial moisture loss to be less and therefore we preserve the uh, fermentable carbohydrates and improve the nutrition. The second thing, of course, is that uh, we get the hay dried sooner so that uh, when we're in harvesting, we don't have as much yield loss from the next cutting. And then the third thing would be that in some parts of the country, getting it off the field a day sooner means we're less likely to get rained on. In fact, the time of day you choose to cut your crop is a factor in ultimate hay quality. We do know that when we cut in the afternoon, we have more starch and sugars in the plant, and that again makes it more palatable to animals and makes it higher quality. Uh, whether or not we cut in the afternoon depends on how fast we can get that initial drying to occur. And so if we're in the western states where drying is good, then cutting in the afternoon is a good idea because it will increase the sugar in the harvested forage. If we're in the eastern states, then if we cut in the afternoon, we have more sugar, but it doesn't dry as much by nightfall, so we lose it before we make hay and, and the benefit is negligible. So in the west, cutting in the afternoon is preferred, in the eastern United States, probably in the morning. While moisture is seldom an issue in the Imperial Valley, in most areas of the country getting the crop dried, baled, and out of the field more quickly benefits quality. So rapid drying 
losing that first 15 percent moisture is crucial because that helps shut down respiration and preserves the starch and sugars for the animals that we're feeding. Uh, what this means to us is, is twofold. Uh, first off, in terms of selling hay, uh, well, the prices that we've seen over winter, a 4% starch loss would be about a $40 per ton premium discount in California and would be a $60 or $70 discount for hay in the Midwestern United States. The other thing to keep in mind though is that it's important for dairy, but it's also important for beef cattle with the kind of winter that we had, if we had that extra quality, we could have fed the cattle quality hay to help them get through that cold weather without the need for supplemental grain and still have maintained the body condition on those animals that we want for calving in the spring. So what can you do to influence the quality of your hay? First, recognize that setting up your mower conditioner to create a wider swath leads to faster dry down. A wide swath is really the single most important factor for drying for haylage and even for hay because a wide swath um, spreads the forage out so that it intercepts more sunlight, it keeps the stomates or the holes in the leaves open so that they lose their moisture faster, and then conditioning of course is important for drying the stems. So a wide swath is for drying the leaves, conditioning is for drying the stems. So New Holland offers a wide dry conditioning module in our new disc bind series. Uh, it's 125 inches wide and it is the widest in the industry and we're excited to unveil that. Um, and really why is that important? It creates a nice smooth mat of crop coming out the, the, the rear of the machine and thorough conditioning is the key here. Being able to cut at 13 or 16 foot 3 and then push that crop back through uh, 125 inches of conditioning. Uh, provides a nice thorough conditioning job. In addition, producers can choose New Holland's wide thin fin kit to help make dry down happen more quickly. On our smaller side pool cutting machines, we offer a kit called Wide Thin Fin. And what that kit does is it, we basically take off the, um, the windrow shields, take off the side deflectors on the swath gate, and basically mount fins underneath the swath gate itself so that uh, the, the crop can be basically swathed at a measurable distance greater than the cutting. So nine foot two or 10 foot uh, cutting machines, we like to see the swaths be wider than, than uh, the cutting widths themselves. If you can get it right around 70 to 80, maybe even 90% of uh, cutting width, uh, spreading that crop wide and thin will promote dry down, it will promote uh, the sun exposure, and it will also help uh, the wind to come in and dry down that crop and taking that moisture level down from the 80 percent down to that you know 50 and then down to 13 percent is really something that uh, we look forward to. In addition to a wide swath, recognize that there are a variety of choices you can make when it comes to the tools that will condition your hay crop. So New Holland offers three effective crop uh, conditioning solutions for uh, the general hay customer, hay and forage owner. And really on our disc bind, we offer three uh, solutions for that. Number one is the Chevron rubber intermeshing rolls. And really that, that rubber roll is good for the alfalfa type crop, the soft legumes, something that has leaves. It really provides a good crimp and crush crop conditioning. Uh, with those rubber rolls and going through there provides a really good uh, opportunity for the moisture to uh, escape and, and help with the respiration process so that you can get the dry down that you're looking for. The second type of uh, effective conditioning that New Holland offers is called our leaning edge flails and New Holland offers that on all of our disc bind series and basically uh, the reason that you wanted to use the flail type conditioning is going to be for more of a, of, a, of a grass type hay, something uh, where it's much more aggressive. Um, guys use them to really help to promote the dry down. It's probably the, the most effective type of conditioning, but it's also the most uh, forceful type of conditioning as well. The third type of conditioning that we offer in our disc binds is a steel and steel intermeshing roll. And that really is gonna be for more of a cane or a grass type crop as well. Uh, it does do a really nice and thorough job. 
Whatever choice you make to condition your crop, you also need to take the time to check and look closely to ensure you're getting the effect you want. So when we're conditioning hay, we should uh, adjust close to what we think is appropriate and then mow around and get off and look at what that hay looks like after we have mowed that one round. And we should see a couple things. One is we should see one to five percent of the leaves showing some bruising or some slight turning of color. The other thing is we should be able to see that the stems are broken every three to four inches. The, the bruising and the stem breakage will tell us that we've got enough tension on our conditioner that we're properly conditioning that alfalfa, both for the type and the amount of forage going through. So that means that the crop that's going through your conditioning rolls or conditioning flails uh, is going to get a nice thorough conditioning so that uh, really when you're looking at the moisture loss, it, it really helps the hay to dry down quickly and so that you can get uh, your baling operation underway. The sooner you can do that, the more digestible your hay is going to be and that goes right into the diet of the animal that you're trying to feed. Adjusting and operating the mower and the conditioner in an appropriate manner is really crucial to producing high quality hay, which is profitable to the beef cattlemen, the dairymen, the hay, commercial hay grower, and everyone else involved. The experts also say producers should be sure to set the appropriate roll gap and roll pressure to provide the conditioning they want for the crop they're cutting. Be sure to ask your local dealer to review conditioner setting with you prior to season to ensure you have the information to be successful. From the Imperial Valley of California, I'm Brian Baxter reporting for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Now remember, New Holland offers outstanding discounts for NCBA members. To find out more, visit the website beefusa.org or stop in at your local New Holland dealer. To truck guys, the truck is everything. And when you put them in charge of making an unbeatable truck, good things happen. This is the Ram 1500 the 2014 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. And first ever back-to-back -back winner. Guts, glory, ram. Your herd, your business, your family. You've always protected what matters most so you know how important vaccinations are for healthy cattle. And with Vista vaccines from Merck Animal Health, you know you're covered. No other vaccine works like Vista. Only Vista gives you complete dual action pneumonia protection and complete one dose fetal protection for the entire pregnancy. Protect what matters most. Talk to your veterinarian or animal health supplier about Vista. Join America's cattle industry for the 2014 Summer Conference in Denver, Colorado. It's a great opportunity to meet your fellow cattlemen and women, plus spend time planning for the future of your operation in our great industry. Bring the whole family and join us in Denver for the 2014 Cattle Industry Summer Conference, July 30th through August 2nd. For details, call 1-866-USA-BEEF or visit us at beefusa.org. Welcome back. Getting hay harvested on time is a primary concern for farmers and ranchers across the country. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brian Baxter has more on a piece of equipment that allows you to travel faster and get hay down more quickly than ever before. Bevel Family Farms is a cow-calf and commercial hay operation located in southern Georgia. Although the hayside started small, John Bevel says things have taken off over the past several years. My wife's family did hay for years and raised cattle and we just kind of took over into that field and it just kept growing and growing until we reached a point where, you know, it was full time and, and uh, we, we do a lot of custom work, we, we do a lot of hay for ourselves. Between what we cut for our own barns and what we cut for other folks, we, we do about 500 acres of ground and uh, we cut that three or four times a year depending on the weather. 
The Bevel family's hay ground is spread out over several different fields, some many miles apart. So speed and performance are critical. That's why they turn to New Holland's speed rower, self-propelled wind rower. There's a lot of competition for hay ground, so we, we go as far as 30 miles to cut some of our hay. And we were running, you know, several cutters, several tractors, and several men and we needed to slow some of that down, so we went to the one cutter. We also needed to be able to control our environment a little better. We have short windows on the hay production here in the south. You may, two to three days is a pretty long span, so we needed to be able to cut down on drying time, be able to cover more area in a shorter period of time, and that, you know, that really kind of helped us do that. The windrower, I can go in there and take a 53 acre field and cut it down in three hours, three to four hours, as with two eight foot pull behind type cutters, disc cutters, it would take almost all day. For a cattleman or a rancher to own a self-propelled wind rower, um, I, I would say that he has to have uh, specific conditions on his acreage that would allow him that, that he needs to go uh, maybe faster, so the speed at cutting is important. We have three models. We have the Speed Rower 130, the Speed Rower 200, and the Speed Rower 240. And the Speed Rower 130 is our four-cylinder machine. Um, it's right there at around 130 horsepower. And then we have two six-cylinder machines, the 200 and the 240. And uh, the, we've been in the self-propelled wind rower market uh, since 1965. And through the generations, uh, we've come up um, uh, obviously evolving with innovation and design and engineering design and really um, I'd say we've become a leader in the self-propelled wind rower market and our speed rower is part of that hand forage offering that that New Holland has that we are that we're the smart brand we're the innovative brand and we're excited to have the, the speed rower uh, new this year the speed rower also has a factory installed three range hydrostatic transmission option which provides road speeds up to 24 miles per hour, the fastest in the industry. This enhances productivity and efficiency by spending less time on the road and more time cutting crop. You have a one, two and three uh, toggle switch inside the cab. So one and two are your mowing speeds. Uh, basically, you're going to be uh, probably going up to speeds while you're mowing up to eight, 8 to 10, maybe 12 miles per hour, depending on the conditions. Uh, the second range will bump you up to 18 miles per hour, and then that third range, which is the high-speed transport, gets you up to 24 miles per hour. It's a, it's a road-only speed, so what that does is it allows you, when you're done uh, cutting or swathing, it allows you to go from the field to that next field by saving time. Time saved on the road really is, you know, time saved in your over operation and, and in uh, the length of time that you're cutting. And what that means uh, for the operator, for that owner uh, of the machine, the, the owner of the crop, um, he can cut sooner, which allows that hay and forage crop to be able to dry down during the prime time dry, drying uh, hours of the day and really at the end of the day it equates to more and, and better hay and forge quality. When a speed rower, self-propelled wind rower is teamed with a Durabine disc head, HS sickle head or the new Duraswath draper head, productivity climbs even more. The key is picking the right sized head for the job. Producers can select disc or sickle heads from 12 to 19 feet and draper heads to swath at widths of 25 to 40 feet. The comfort ride cab on a speed rower provides optimum visibility, plenty of room, and comfort. A floating console with a command grip multifunction control handle puts the speed rower at the operator's fingertips. If you take a look at our cab, the cab is all mounted on springs and that really helps with the ride of the cab. Along with that we have rear axle uh, suspension. Um, so not only is our cab suspended, but we also have our rear axle suspension. So we have a patent design back there that will really help with uh, going over some of those, those waterways or pivot track irrigation uh, tracks. It is smooth. I mean, yeah, we got hog holes in some of our fields and we'll hit them and you won't hardly even fill them. 
I mean, the airbags, they, they support it good as far as comfort. The cab is, uh, it's got its own suspension, so it pretty much floats. Then as far as room inside the cab, it's very roomy. You, I mean, you don't feel clustered or anything. You, you got plenty of room in there. Operators can program two cutting height memory positions and can make changes on the fly with a press of a button. Of course, one of the keys to success for any commercial hay operator is getting the right cutting height. An operator might want to change the cutting height for one of any number of reasons. Number one, uh, height of stubble. Uh, if a fella is cutting with a machine and you're going for a uh, maximum amount of tonnage being put up, then you want to cut lower towards the ground because your goal is just to cut as much as possible. But more isn't always better. And that's really true when we're cutting plants or grasses for animal nutrition. You know, the goodie's not at the bottom. So uh, if a fellow wants to have better uh, nutritional feed for the animals, he may cut a little bit higher. Precision farming calls for technology that's accurate, easy to understand, and smart for the way you farm. Speed rowers, self-propelled wind rowers have an integrated IntelliSteer auto guidance system that's fully installed and tested. This means pass-to-pass -pass overlap becomes non-existent in wide cutting and swathing applications. Generally, auto guidance allows you to uh, get the most out of your machine in the most efficient way. Uh, it's going to allow me to uh, eliminate my operator error, perhaps, in not using 100% of the cutting width of my of the head in front of me. Um, and it's also going to help just generally with operator fatigue. Uh, you don't realize how many things you're really paying attention to when you're when you're steering the machine yourself. Uh, so using auto guidance allows you to sit back and relax, let the machine do the driving, and let you let you focus on uh, other things that are happening in the cab and watching wind rower performance. Auto guidance will allow uh, cattlemen to achieve a 4 to 12 inch uh, pass to pass accuracy with their cutting head. Uh, so whereas they may give themselves a little more gap on the head just to be certain they aren't skipping anything in the field, this allows them to get that much closer and utilize all of the head in front of the machine. No matter the crop, speed rowers, self-propelled wind rowers allow producers to get the job done more quickly than ever before while still delivering the power and performance operators need. That's why Bevel Family Farms will continue to rely on their speed rower to help them make top quality hay. Uh, we're basically a three-man operation and we, we cover a lot of ground. As I said, a lot of it's spaced out and so like my son John, when he, you know, he does most of the cutting and so he's able to get in it and cover several fields by himself without any outside assistance and all. So I can send him on to do that and, and it saved us a lot of time. We see a lot of commercial operators, um, guys that are doing a lot of acreage, uh, larger farms, la larger uh, ranches. Uh, they're looking for uh, that you know, timeliness and, and the speed at what they're mowing and being able to get in that field and get out of that field quickly. And that, that's why we have a lot of operators going to that self-propelled wind rower uh, machine. Reporting from Georgia, I'm Brian Baxter for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. For more on wind rowers or any other New Holland equipment, just visit their website at agriculture.newholland.com or you can visit our website. That's cattleman to cattleman.org. We'll have more right after this. This is yours. And so is what grows there. Not theirs or theirs, yours. You need this to fight this and this to grow more this. Because the more of this you feed them, the less this you spend on that, which leaves more of this here. Don't let them take this from you. Chaparral takes care of weeds and brush, and that's that. Hi there, I'm Joey. And I'm Rory, and welcome to our farm outside Nashville, Tennessee. When we go to work, whether it's on tour or here at home, we wear the West. That's right, wear it's that perfect snap shirt or that perfect pair of boots. When you wear Roper, you wear the West. Learn more about us, Joey and Rory, and about Roper Western wear at eroper.com. Take 
telling the truth and being real and feeding my family a home cooked meal that's important to me that's important to me and planting the garden and watching it Hello, I'm Kevin Ochsner, host of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Each week, we travel the country to bring you the latest cattle industry news and information. Check us out at cattlemantocattlemen.org or on Facebook and Twitter. So why do you care if your cattle are source and age verified? Better yet, do you think the housewife cares? Well, 70% of consumers surveyed want to know where their food comes from. So where do you start? With this little green ear tag. IMI Global, the seal of approval that stands behind the beef you produced. IMI is engaged in source and age verification from the cow man to the kitchen table. So if you're ready to start, just ask us. IMIGlobal.com Let's face it. You don't think a lot about your trailer hitch. You use it and forget it. We understand. But at B&W, we think about it. Short nights, long hauls, never-ending chores. The unthinkable. We think about it all, so you don't have to. B&W. Trusted. There's two things the cowboy's afraid of. Being stranded afoot and a decent woman. Well, I went to a cowboy wedding a while back where the bridegroom had found him a decent woman. But this was not your normal walk down the aisle, kiss the bride kind of wedding. This was a merger of two ranching families, complete with rings made out of bob wire, a fiddle playing Here Comes the Bride, and mosquitoes. Three days before the main event, they set a big tent up in the meadow for the reception and dance. The bridesmaids all looked beautiful in their long dresses. The groomsmen, however, presented a different picture. Putting a suit coat on some of those cowboys was like putting croutons on a cow pie. The sisters had made them all powder blue suit coats and bandanas. Weddings seemed to make cowboys uncomfortable. These fellas looked like they were still hanging in the closet, paralyzed. Part of their condition could be attributed to the 48-hour bachelor party which preceded the knot tying. The groom was maneuvered around on the wedding day like a NASA moonwalker. Sleep had not been allowed. The appointed hour arrived. The priest got up and explained that this was not a normal Catholic wedding. He was wearing a sports shirt and jogging shoes, but it would be legal just the same. Everybody, and I mean there was a bunch of them, got seated in this pretty little cove, complete with a lagoon in the background. It was like God had made this spot just for the wedding. It rained a little, but no one cared. The bride was lovely. She stood out like a penguin in an asphalt parking lot. The priest asked Dad, who gives this woman in matrimony? And Dad replied, her mother and I and the Valley Bank. When it came time to kiss and seal the vows, the groom spit out his chew. Unfortunately, the bride chose not to. A barbecue and dance followed, and the place was a wreck when I left. <laughs> At the bride's request, we played walking the dog. It was fitting, I guess, because Billy's old dog, Bronk, caught the bouquet. This is Baxter Black from out there. I'm Sheila Cartridge. Um, this is my husband, Brock. We have two girls, Karina and Jessica. Both girls can pull cattle, doctor, process anything that we need them to do. Using products that help keep the calves healthy, it helps my parents to be less stressful, it helps them to be at home more, and it helps pay more bills when you don't have to worry about sick cattle. I'd say 98, 99% of our cattle are high risk. We've never seen a response due to a metaphylaxis like we have with the Draxon. I think Draxon has a major role in any operation as far as your viability and your long-term outlook. And how do you quantify having a peace of mind to take a vacation for a week or leave work early to go watch a basketball game? You can't quantify that.
Important safety information for Draxon. Draxon has a pre-slaughter withdrawal time of 18 days. Do not use in dairy cattle 20 months of age or older. Effects on reproductive performance, pregnancy, and lactation have not been determined. The Case IH Spring Sales Event is on now, making it a great time to get the equipment you need for this season. With 0% financing for 60 months on all Farmall and Maxim Series tractors, as well as our complete line of hay tools, you can turn everyday chores into everyday savings. But hurry, the Spring Sales Event ends June 30th, 2014. For more information, ask your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash special offers. Welcome back. It's time now for this week's legacy photos, images sent to us by farm and ranching families from around this great country. Let's take a look. Don't forget, you can send us pictures of your farm or ranch by visiting our website at cattlemantocattlemen.org. Include your ranch, your farm name, and your hometown, and we may use them on a future episode. Well, that's our time for this week's edition of NCBA's Cattlemen and Cattlemen. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you right back here next week on RFD TV.